Regular past tense endings in English. This video is brought to you by the following English learning websites. Look at the following words. Each is a past tense verb with a regular ed ending, but they have different pronunciations and even spellings. Called, beeped, waited, wiped, hugged, cried. Note, regular ed versus irregular verbs. This video is about regular verbs that end in ed for the past and past participle. For other verbs, Irregular ones, we have an entire other video. Please see the link in the description below. Some principles to remember. There are four basic principles for adding ed to verbs. We'll look at each one individually. ed alone, with silent e, doubling consonants, y endings. 1. ED alone. To make the regular past tense form of many verbs, we just add ED to the main verb, and that's it. Verb plus ED. Worked. Called. Watched. Rained. Cleaned. Wished. Smelled. Reached. Example. On Monday it rained, so they called off the game. On Tuesday we watched as they played just the same. Pronunciation differences. Even though the spellings are similar, be aware that pronunciation for the words can be different. Listen to the way they are pronounced. D sound, d. Called, snowed, rained, seemed. T sound, t. Worked, helped, laughed. Missed. Ud sound. Waited. Seated. Seated. Ended. Remember that spelling and pronunciation here are different things. Example. On Monday it snowed. I called Mr. D. On Tuesday I worked and helped Mr. T. On Wednesday I waited and wanted to see if Thursday, I'd find a new mystery. What are the principles for using ED alone? Do you notice any patterns? For spelling, there are generally three principles for this. First, look at the endings of the main verbs. Consonant, consonant, or consonant, consonant, consonant. Worked, called, watched. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Cleaned, rained, seemed. Vowel, vowel. Wooed, played, snowed. Double consonants and vowels. Let's look at each case separately. When you see double vowels and consonants, just add ed. Two consonants, c, c. At the ends of verbs, signal that we don't have to change the verb at all. By double here, we mean two. They can be the same consonant or not. Called, filled, ended, watched. With watched, there are three consonants instead of two. B. Double vowel before final consonant. When you see two vowels before a final consonant, you can just add ed to the verb. Rained, seemed, roamed, beeped. Two vowels usually, but not always, signal a long vowel sound, so the consonant doesn't need to be doubled. Example. Last night I dreamed, quite peacefully it seemed, until my phone beeped and ruined my sleep. Double vowels. When a verb ends in two vowels, just add ed. Cooed, booed, wooed. The letters y and w can function as vowels at the ends of words. Played, obeyed, snowed, towed. 
2. Silent E. At the end of some verbs, you will see a silent E. Silent E can affect the pronunciation of the previous vowel, making it long. To make the past tense, just add a D. An extra E would be unnecessary. Smile, smiled. Wipe, wiped. Face, faced. Tie, tied. 3. Doubling consonants. When a verb ends in a short vowel before a final consonant, you need to double the final consonant before adding ed. The doubled consonant protects the short vowel from changing its sound. Wrap, wrapped. Hug, hugged. Sin, sinned. Pad, padded. Pop, popped. Kid, kidded. Example. Yesterday I wrapped a gift. It was padded with paper and heavy to lift. When I gave it to hubby, we hugged and we kissed. I had to make up for the birthday I missed. Doubled consonants. Note these examples. Silent E versus doubled consonants. Hope, hoped. Long O with silent E. Hop, Hopped. Short O with doubled consonant. Hum, hummed. Short U with doubled consonant. Fill, filled. Short I with doubled consonant. File, filed. Long I with silent E. Notice that fill already has a double L, but we use it here to show the contrast with file. Think of the doubled consonants as protecting the short vowel sound. Remember the bulldogs? They're like doubled consonants protecting the short vowel sounds. Jogged, planned, petted, dropped. Notice how it all fits together. Clean, cleaned. Long vowel sound, no doubled consonant. Pen, penned. Short vowel sound, doubled consonant. Weight, weighted. Long vowel sound, no doubled consonant. Pat, padded. Short vowel sound, doubled consonant. Double consonants and stressed syllables. Sometimes in words with more than one syllable, doubled consonants are used after the last syllable of the verb if it is stressed but not if the syllable is unstressed. For example, control, controlled. Stressed final syllable. Compel, compelled. Stressed final syllable. Open, opened. Unstressed final syllable. Travel, traveled. Unstressed final syllable. In British English, you will sometimes see this spelled traveled with a double L. 4. Verbs ending in Y. When a verb ends in Y, you need to look at the letter before the Y. If it is a vowel, just add ED. If it is a consonant, change the Y to I before adding ED. Play, played. Pray, prayed. Obey, obeyed. Cry, cried. Try, tried. Fry, fried. Example. Clyde tried and tried to find a bride. Tried cried and cried until she sighed. When Clyde spied tried, they nearly died. Their love was finally satisfied. Final notes. When a verb ends in E, you can treat the final letter as a silent E and just add a D. Tie, tied. Sue, sued. Free, freed. Agree, agreed. Waste, wasted. Change, changed. Hope that was helpful. For more information, please check out our websites.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the thumbs up icon if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.